Hi, this is Bob Carter. I'm president of Industrial Accessories Company. We've been in business for 35 plus years and have a strong partner network within the hemp industry. The information that we hope to share with you today is to be able to help you maximize the yield within your harvest. You've put so much work into the field. Hopefully your harvest is going well, your plants are healthy and strong, and they have a lot of CBD oil in them. What we're going to talk about is how to keep that CBD oil in the plant so you don't lose it before extraction. What we've found is that if you harvest the plant at the stalk, you have less disturbance to the plant. That's less opportunity for the pods to break up and release the CBD oil. Many companies have chopped it in the field or processed it in the field. If you're doing that, that's okay. You just have some potential loss. If you are cutting it at the stalk and you're bringing the plants in whole to a storage area, you want to make sure that those plants didn't have any fungus on them or bacteria. You can use fungicides both in spray and in the water system in order to prevent that. Assuming that you've got a clean plant without fungus, you then want to store it in an area where it's not going to get fungus while it's waiting to be dried. You can again apply an application at that point, but assuming that you're within a three to five day window, you're usually good. Once you get the plant, you run it through a wet bucking or a dry bucking system. We can give you information on both of those in order to remove the buds and the flowers from the stems. As you've debudded it and destemmed it, then you want to run it across the sorting table so you get rid of the stems and the stalks. Now, assuming that you're at that point with a 85 to 90% um, ratio of buds and flowers, you're then ready to run it through a chopper. And, and at that point, you're trying to take that material to a half inch minus size. It's perfect size for drying. It can be con conveyed well through the system. Many of the different drying systems can handle it. And that was one of the biggest problems we found in last year's harvest was actually the handling of the material into the dryer. So very, very important point. Once it's chopped and on its way to the dryer, we recommend you run it across the sorting table to get rid of most of the stems and the stalks that were left after the bucking process. Then you dry it at around 105 to 115 degrees. Agri Industries has a good uh, flower box design that is a stationary box that runs a heated air through it so it's a controlled air environment. There's other dryers that are rotary in nature that we've installed. There's some fluidized beds, there's some mechanical beds. So there's some other drying technology we can talk to you about, but most importantly you want to contain that that drying environment at about 105 to 115 degrees. Assuming that you've done that, what's coming out the other side is going to be a a uh, hemp leaf that's probably around 5% moisture, 5 to 7% moisture. Now what you need to do is you need to post process that if you need to. You can either run it through a mill. If you're doing, I recommend that you run it across a shaker table first to remove any of that last remaining stalks and stems through a mill and then basically through a um, into a super sac system. We sell some super sac systems that are UV uh, resistant so that they can be stored and you can also apply a secondary anti-fungus uh, material onto the plant at that point to prevent any again fungus or bacteria. We hope this has been worth your time today. IAC has uh, products, we do engineering, we actually design drying and conveyance and handling systems. We can help you through the process. Most importantly, we just want you to be successful. So if you want to, reach out to the phone number, email, or links that we've attached with this video. Feel free to get in touch with me or one of our other sales representatives, and we would get an engineer assigned to you to be able to help you through this process. We hope you have a great day. Thank you.